Catherine Vensky in Cushing Square in front of what used to be Ben Franklin and now is Belmont's newest restaurant, Hanami. Let's go inside and meet owner and restaurateur Jack Sai. Hi, Jack. Hi, good morning, Catherine. How are you? I'm good. I'm very excited to be here with you. I've been hearing about the opening of this restaurant for a long time, and it is beautiful in here. Thank you. Welcome. So you are a successful restaurateur with locations in the greater Boston area. Tell us a little bit about your company and how you got started in this business. Well, we opened a few restaurants, but we still think of ourselves as a small business, family owned. And uh, we started here in Belmont, and it was 2015. Um, you know, we had, you know, we started here, we uh, had good success, you know, good mm -hmm. customers, good, good, uh, you know, good fan base. So, you know, from here we just kind of grew. Uh, slowly and organically, and we opened up other restaurant locations in uh, Melrose, Arlington, and Watertown. Mm -hmm. And today, here we are in uh, our brand new restaurant, Hanami, uh, serving full service, you know, full um, full bar, and hopefully giving the customers a really good experience. Is this location different from any of the other restaurants that you have open right now? Yes, our other restaurants are all takeout restaurants, okay. and uh, that was our that was our. That was what we were going to do. And then as time went on, we decided we want to do move to a different direction. And here we are today and with this new goal set and to you know, bring a full service dining to our customers. So this was formerly Ben Franklin and has been kind of a five and 10 for a long time. It's a big space. What motivated you to take this space on and transform it into this restaurant? I think it's because uh, I'm from Belmont myself. I've driven by, back and forth, and you know I've seen this place close. I really felt like it needed something here. You know, being a part of Belmont, I feel like we really need to, you know, develop it and help you know bring new ideas and fresh things into the town and help you know vibrant you know the area. Mm -hmm. And so seeing this space being so large, I mean, I I quickly thought we need something where it's going to be fun, mm -hmm. attractive, and a place people can gather. Mm -hmm. And in the process of opening this space, which was not a restaurant before, were there significant challenges? Yeah, it was a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. We had to really completely take, gut this whole place, take everything apart. Uh, there's a lot of holes we had to fill in, uh, trying to keep aspects of the building, you know, especially like the ceiling. You know, we know the ceiling is mm -hmm. a very beautiful ceiling. And uh, we just wanted to keep that. And so for the customer and the people in town, neighbors, and when they come in, they can recognize little bits and parts of it and say, wow, this is, you know, the store I used to come in here for a sled or like arts and crafts stuff. I love that because, you know, people recognize this was one of kind of like the landmark retail locations in Cushing Square. You're right here on Trapello Road. And I feel like, do you see this as being kind of the flagship uh, location for your company right now? Uh, most certainly is. Mm -hmm. you know, it's the, uh, the you know, first of uh, the dine-in restaurants and it's uh, put a lot of heart into it and mm -hmm. it's just you know we're, we have, we're hopeful mm -hmm. you know, to do well here. So can you tell us a little bit about the menu and your beverage program? Sure our beverage program we have a wonderful uh, gentleman his name is Ryan Giamo uh, he's helping he's helped us with uh, you know, building a wonderful cocktail menu it has uh, lots of themed items that resemble uh, for, uh, that that works with this the theme of the restaurant, which is a uh, cherry blossom spring theme. Mm -hmm. So it's refreshing, it's delicious. And then the food, we have lots of tapas to complement the uh, the drinks, the cocktail. Uh, and also we also we have sushi. We have uh, tapayaki. We have yakitori. That's the grilled meats on the stick. It's going to be grilled over uh, Japanese charcoals, mm -hmm. uh, which burns hotter and it doesn't have a lot of smoke and it's cleaner. It's going to have a wonderful flavor infused into the meat, and uh, it's going to be like a very, it's going to be a very good wide array of food. It's going to you know raw food to cook food. Mm -hmm. So behind us is this beautiful bar mm -hmm. that you have built. So full service beer, wine, and spirits. Can be served correct right and then um, in addition to your dining room don't you have some private rooms in the back 
Oh, we do. We have some private rooms for uh, people to, you know, they can book private rooms. Uh, there's a tatami room where uh, there's, they'll sit on a, a traditional Japanese mat and they can have dinner that way. Mm -hmm. uh, and also we have a larger private room where people can celebrate birthday parties or, you know, business events. I, I also think that that's a rarity in our town is a restaurant that also has the opportunity for networking meetings to happen back there, private parties. I think that did, when you opened up, was that something that you saw as a need in this community is having private rentals? Oh, I did. I thought this could be a place where people can gather and just as a rent a place to have their birthday parties. And this is more of a destination where we'd like people to come and celebrate and enjoy you know, the best part of their lives together. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like this is a diverse menu. What is your favorite thing on the menu that you're excited to serve to people? Oh, there's just too many. Uh, I put a lot of thought into our menu, uh, a lot of my favorite foods. Uh, like for example, we'll be serving, uh, instead of using uh, pre-made wasabi, where a lot of restaurants use, we will be using fresh wasabi, mm -hmm. where uh, we purchase from a farm in Washington. And wasabi can only grow in a certain region, and uh, we're able to find this farm and they're gonna you know, deliver the wasabi. And so wasabi would have to grind on a shark fin skin plate, and then that's how we'd serve it. And mm -hmm. it's completely different, and I'm really excited about that. And there's also this other dish I really enjoy, because uh, we've done a lot of research in Spain for tapas, and there's this one dish particularly I like. It's, uh, it's called a tornito. It's a piece of uh, uh, bread toasted, buttered, and on top of it is a piece of uh, filet. And then on top of that is a piece of flan. So that's very, you know, it's really decadent. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's it definitely, definitely not for the pain of heart. And then on top of that is also like a red wine reduction. So you can kind of picture all of that kind of flowing together. It's just really, absolutely really delicious. Amazing. Yeah. So for a restaurant that is Japanese themed, I know you've traveled to do some research. Are there, um, other cultures of cuisine that are specifically incorporated or is it kind of a fusion? It's uh, it's Japanese altogether but there's also with the tapas there's a little bit of uh, mixed variety. Uh, we'd also we would have some uh, crudo, mm -hmm. uh, we would have uh, ceviche uh, but it's all kind of that same theme of along the line of uh, fish, seafood, uh, freshness. Mm -hmm. So you have a collection of restaurants. How did you get into this business? Oh, it's crazy. I think it started uh, started with an idea when I was young. Uh, you know, uh, I always liked cooking. I always watched Julia Childs cook on TV, and uh, that was really kind of like a passion. It kind of developed. Uh, we went to college uh, for business. Uh, worked in banking for over a decade, but you know. After that, I felt like I needed something different. I needed a different challenge. And uh, I found my, uh, my uncle who asked uh, to start a business with him. And he said, restaurant. I, I thought, that sounds like a great idea, you know? So, you know, so, you know flex my passion and uh, you know, take a stab at this. And since uh, 2015, we've been pretty successful and pretty happy with where we are now. Do you think that your experience in finance has given you a good foundation for running multiple locations of a business? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's helped me uh, manage our business, you know, our budget, our cost, and uh, definitely helped us, you know, scale scale our business. Mm -hmm. So at this location, what is the seating capacity um, for in the main dining room? The seat's about eighty six, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's roomy. Uh, people can spread out and stretch a little bit, so it's not tight. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a really comfortable feel in here. Will you be offering lunch service or a dinner service or both? Both. Well, we'll serve lunch from 11 o'clock to 3 o'clock and then we'll close for an hour to uh, allow the uh, employees to take a break, enjoy, take a walk, and then come back feeling refreshed and then start, or start our dinner service then mm -hmm. at uh, 4, 4, 4, 4 30, 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. The name of your restaurant is Hanami. Can you tell us the meaning or the origin of that name? Yeah, we, you know, we put a lot of thought how we're gonna, what, what to name this restaurant. And uh, we learned that you know, the princess of uh, Japan mm -hmm. lived in Belmont. And that's a pretty amazing story. That is an amazing story. Yeah, and so from there, I thought, what well, could be better than you know, bringing a little bit of that? 
so cherry blossom, you know, spring. And uh, we, we found this word hanami. And uh, it means, you know, gazing, the cherry blossom. It's like a picnic uh, mm -hmm. where people come together during the spring and just enjoy food, enjoy a drink, just to watch the cherry blossom. And I thought that's just perfect. And this is what we call it. It is perfect. That's a lovely story. So you're open. Right. And what can people expect when they're walking through the door to dine at Hanami? Well, people can expect a friendly atmosphere and welcoming and um, a good time. You know, we hope that we can, we want to become a facilitator where people can come and gather and just enjoy, you know, their day, their time, a meal, you know, with friends, family. And we hope we can become a, you know, a part of the community. Jack, thank you for having us here today. I'm so excited that you're open and your restaurant is beautiful. Catherine, thanks for your time and I hope we see you soon. I'll be in. Thanks. I'll be in. Hanami is open on Trapella Road in Cushing Square. Thank you for joining us on the Belmont Business Spotlight.